I am the only one here. I just woke up. My wife's not here. She asked me if I wanted to join her in browsing for a new washing machine. I told her no. I'd much rather stay at home. She left to find a new washing machine, even though the one we have now works just fine. I used it just an hour ago. My father's not here. He lives with us since his wife died. He's old, grey, a bespectacled little man. I love him, but he never says much to me. He's old-fashioned. He used to cut wood for a living. He earned quite a nice little paycheck with it. People need wood here, I guess, but, but I never notice the cold. Being old, my father constantly and certainly notices the cold, always complaining about it and nagging me to throw in some wood on the fire, but I never do. He told me that I'd never, absolutely, ever listen to him or reason. He's wrong, you know. I just used the fireplace just an hour ago. My son's not here. David always has something to do. He never stays in one place very long. He's sixteen. Handsome, but by all respects, quite charming. He gets all the girls, and I know that's why he always goes. He asked me if I could borrow the car before he left, and I told him no. And he threw his typical fit. He says I always stay inside, and never use my car for anything. <laughs> That's not true. I just used the car an hour ago. My dog's not here. She's really a puppy. Not much older than a few months, but still big enough to take me down with enough speed. She always jumps on me when it's time for a walk, and I never walk her. But once, for some reason, I'm the one she's most attached to. I tell her no every time. She even learned to fetch her leash and bring it to me. As if it was some kind of incentive for, to send me on some guilt trip. I always chuckle at her, take the leash, and place it up a little higher, hoping that next time she won't reach it. Uh, her eyes sometimes get me, though. Pitiful puppy eyes. She's a good actress, but she's become less enthusiastic over time. As if to say to me that she's lost hope that I'll ever take her on a walk. She beckons with the leash, nudging my hand with her wet nose, almost trying to force it into my hand, just to make sure I use it. <laughs> I guess I finally gave in. I used the leash just an hour ago. I'm the only one here. I just woke up. But now... I think I'll go back to sleep. It's too quiet here. A gunshot wound to the head. Inflicted with a shotgun. It was pretty gruesome. He was in his own bed. Another large and husky man shuffled some papers on a desk. But that's not all. No, unfortunately, we thought he was alone in the house at first, but we returned and investigated. And? The chief of police rubbed his eyes, weary with the weight of a long and looking to be even longer day. He wasn't alone. We found his wife's body stuffed into the washing machine in the basement. It looks like she was suffocated with some bedsheets. He turned the washer on when his wife was inside. What the hell? Then there's this older gentleman, about 75 years old, who we presumed to be his father. Well, actually, we only found remains of him. His limbs were all severed along with his head. His torso was all bifurcated, as if it was with an axe. We found the remains of the father in the fireplace, pretty charred. The guy lit a match and threw it in with him. Looks like the hair was set on fire first. Jesus. A younger guy, anywhere near from 15 to 18 years old, his son, found him in the guy's car sitting in the garage. The car was on. 
The kid's hands were duct taped to the steering wheel. His eyes were still open. Finally, we found his dog. This is the weirdest one. We found it several blocks down the street, followed by a trail of blood. It had its leash on, and all its legs were amputated. It's like the guy took it for a walk, only it, it couldn't walk. Did this guy leave a suicide note or anything, or was he just fucking insane? Actually, we did find this on his bed. It's written in shaky, uneven letters. We believe it just before he shot himself. It says, They never said I'd used a shotgun. <laughs>